Hello, whole class. In today's lesson, we're going to be putting groups of objects in an order. The order might go from the smallest, the least, and get bigger to the greatest, or we might start at the greatest and then we might order and get small, smaller and smaller amounts. OK, let's have a little look and a quick recap first. One ten and three ones, mm, 16. A ten and a three, 13, mm, 16. 13 is less than 16. Two tens and no ones, mm, 20. Two tens and no ones is equal to 20. What is one more than 10? 11, good. And which is greater? Looking carefully at the pictures. A bundle of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. A bundle of 10, a tower of 10, and two, four, six. Hmm. Five ones over here, but six ones over here. Oh, that one, that's 16, isn't it? Okay, four children, Whitney, Alex, Ron and Dexter. Who has the most letters in their name? Mm. We'll have to count them, won't we? So Whitney's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Alex has got four. Ron's just got three letters. And Dexter's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So who had the most letters? I think it was Whitney, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the biggest number, seven. It's Whitney. Who has the least letters in their name? So who has the smallest number of letters in their name? It's Ron. He's only got three letters in his name. How many letters are in your name? Write your name on your book, on your paper, and count how many letters are in your name. I know some of you have got quite a long name, and I know one or two, and your names are quite short. Okay, this page says order groups. So we've got Mo and Annie and Dexter, and it looks like they've been busy baking. Hmm, let's see. Who has the most rolls? Well, we can see the bundles of 10, can't we? So there's 10 and 2, 4, 6. 16 for Mo. There's 10 and another 10. 10 add 10 is 20 for Annie. And Dexter's made 10 and 4 more. 10 add 4 is 14. So who's made the most? Do you agree? It's Annie. 16, 20, 14, Annie. Who has the least rolls? The smallest number of rolls? Dexter. He's got 14, hasn't he? OK. Eva brought in more rolls than Dexter, but fewer than Mo. Hang on, let's think. Let's get the laser and have a little have a little think about this one. Eva brought in more rolls than Dexter. So she brought more than Dexter. So Dexter's brought in 10 and 4, 14. Hmm. More than 14, but fewer than Mo. Where's Mo? Mo brought in 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So she brought less than Mo. 16. What comes before 16? 15, maybe, and more than Dexter, 14. Yes, if Eva brought in 15. Yes, she's brought in one more than Dexter. So she's brought more than Dexter, but she's brought less than Mo. That was a bit tricky. Ooh, what can we see here? We've got some Numicon shapes, a 10 and a 
nine, 19, well done. Oh, box of chocolates. How many chocolates? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Some bags of apples, five and five. Five add five is 10. And three more is 10 add three, 13. And pears, five add five, that's the 10 and four. 10 and 4, 14. Okay, it says place the objects in order from the least, that's the smallest amount, to the greatest amount. Okay, oh, so which of these things had the smallest amount? 19, 12, 13, and 14. I think it's the chocolates, do you? 12. And then the next least, mm, apples, well done. And the next least, yeah, pears. And the greatest was 19 for the Numicon shapes. Well done. Oh, we've got some different things. We've got some eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A dozen eggs, twelve. We've got ten and three, thirteen. Twelve, thirteen. Do you know, sometimes I forget. So I'm going to write the numbers underneath to help me. So we counted twelve there. We've said that there's a 10 and three ones, that's 13. We can see a 10, a tower of 10 and two, four, six, eight. 18. And over here, a 10 and two, four, six, seven. A 10 and seven. Okay, so that's helped us. Now, what do we have to do? It says, place the objects in order. Oh, this time from the greatest down to the smallest. So we have to start with the biggest number, which is 18. Yes. And the next biggest number was 17. And then getting a bit smaller, 13, and then the smallest, 12. Hmm. What could you build to show greatest to least? So you have to look at the, the green, the black and the blue boxes. And in the middle, we've got a 10 and five more, 15. So on this side, we need a number smaller than 15. Oh, no, we don't. I'm so sorry, children. We don't. Come on, Mrs. Jackson, read that again. What could you build to show the greatest to least? We need a number that's bigger than 15. OK. Ooh, bigger than 15. Well, it wouldn't be 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 or 15. It might be 16, that one there. Oh, it could be any of those, 19, 18, 17, 16. We could have chosen any of those green ones. Mm, and then we have to think of the least. So we've got to have something that's smaller than 15. Well, it can't be this five here because that would be the same. It's got to be, it could be 14, 13, 12 or 11. OK, this is your job today. I would like you to draw tens frames and counters to show each of these numbers. Number 13, number 17 and number 14. That's your first job. And when you've done that, I'd like you to write the numbers in order. First of all, start with the smallest number and get a little bit bigger and the greatest number on this side and then swap them round. Start with the greatest number and then a little bit smaller and finish with the smallest amount. 
So remember, it's the tens frame first of all, 13, 17 and 14. Remember those numbers, 13, whoops, a daisy, 17 and 14. And when you've done those tens frames, see if you can put them in order. OK, that's all for today, whole class. Well done. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.